Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, welcome to the May 24th edition of Basis Loaded with Joe Schmidt. I am Joe Schmidt. And as always, this episode is produced by Paige Driscoll. And what we do here is break down the latest on the NDPSR report, starting with butter. This butter number coming in at 244 49 represents a plus four to the CME one week average of 240.55. We traded nine loads on the CME last week, and we have a little bit higher than expected volume on this NDPSR report coming in north of 4 million pounds, while our expected volume is in the neighborhood of three and a half million. Plus four is twice our normal basis of plus two. So all in all in butter, higher than expected volume with a higher than expected price. Next up, cheese starting with the blocks, 170.98. That represents a plus five to the CME one week average of 166.25. We traded 35 loads on the CME last week. That's a total of close to 1.4 million pounds. So with all that weight traded on the CME, you would expect lower than normal basis. Plus five does not qualify as lower than normal. That is a very nice basis, especially considering all the volume that we had at the exchange. We're still seeing higher than normal basis in the blocks, which would lead us to believe that we're cleaning up some export business that was done at the end of last year, early this year, when values were at a higher level. What's interesting is that volume, that 1.4 million pounds that we traded on the CME, does not translate to the NDPSR. We fell short of our expected 12.5 million pound threshold, coming in only with an NDPSR volume of 11,692,000. So all that volume at the CME seemed to replace some previously negotiated contract sales as volume slipped below our expected level. In the barrels, 156.75. That's a plus three to the CME two-week average of 153.42. Plus three is lower than expected basis. We normally like to have that barrel basis around four to six cents over. So basis coming in under one of the culprits could be the 54 loads that we traded at the CME. Call it... 2.2 2.2 million pounds. Last week was the low week at the CME, so that weight went in at a really low level. And higher than expected volume here on the NDPSR, north of our 13.5 million, but again, doesn't reflect that 2.2 million that we traded on the CME. So it looks like buyers turning up their nose on cheese this week if they're on a Minimum, maximum forward contract. It looks like buyers are taking the minimum and willing to backfill that volume with purchases at the CME. Next up, Way. Way came in at 38 at one, and that's a plus five to the CME one week average of 3305. But of course, in Way, we're always going back to the May 6th NDPSR, that 4110. So a full three cents under prior week's NDPSR. That's a big move lower for way. The volume at the CME could be responsible for that price move lower. We traded a whopping 75 loads at the CME last week. Call that close to 3 million pounds at the CME average of 28.45 minus freight. Now to come up with this 38 cent level, if you Take that prior week's NDPSR that I mentioned before of 41, add three cents to that. So 44 cents on 4.8 million pounds. If you take the 3 million pounds that we traded last week on the CME at 27 cents, call it minus a penny and a half for the freight allowance, you end up with a 37.50 weighted average here in the NDPSR coming in at 38. All that volume shows up here on the NDPSR. Three million traded at the exchange, and we're a full three million over our expected 
five million pounds. So just another week of massive weight moving on the Indy PSR in way and prices are trending lower towards the benchmark CME average. And then lastly, non-fat, 114.94. That's our only negative basis on this report. That represents a minus three to the CME one-week average of 118.55. We traded nine loads last week on the CME. Can't really blame those nine loads for the negative basis. I think the culprit, once again, in non-fat is a discount Flat price sale, looks like the manufacturer had to discount around 5 million pounds and got it moved. That weighted average coming in close to 115, possibly a little bit of a surprise to some folks in the non-fat world. So this is week three of four for the May pricing cycle. Currently getting a May class three of 1616 with May class four at 1805. If you carry current CME equivalents out through the entirety of the four week June pricing cycle, currently getting June class three, 1536, with a June class four of 1801. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come at the CME. Until then, on behalf of Paige and the entire EverAg Insights team, I'm Joe. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye.